Anyone who's been a fan of old-fashioned black and white movies from the 1920s to the 1960s will recognize these names. Barbara Streisand, Audrey Hepburn, Laurence Olivier. But not a lot of people know who introduced some of them to the film industry. Director William Wyler. Wyler was born to a Jewish family in the formerly German town of Mühlhausen on July 1st, 1902, and was literally related to Carl Lamley, founder of Universal Studios, who hired him to work at the studio with him in 1921. He didn't have to be asked twice, as they left for New York, and after a few years of that, he left for Hollywood to become a director in his own right, making it for his first ever and first silent movie, Anyone Here Singing Kelly, in September 1928. Only a few days after Herbert Hoover was sworn into the White House on 1929, Wyler was working on producing his first part talkie film, The Shakedown. And when the paper said Judea declares war on Germany ten years later, Wyler had created one of the most popular soap opera book adaptation movies in history, Wuthering Heights with Laurence Olivier, who even credited William for teaching him how to act on the big screen. Wyler's direction of 1953's highly popular Roman Holiday was one of his more major movies, which introduced Audrey Hepburn to American audiences in her first starring role alongside already famous Gregory Peck, winning her the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1954, along with the movie winning two more awards for Best Costume Designing and Best Writing. Technically meaning, Wyler won three separate awards for a single movie. To conclude, Wyler was one of the foremost directors in the cinema history. This is Ben Clausen saying that if you want a good example of film history, Look up William Wyler. Ciao.